Hi you guys, welcome back. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the top three books for 2020 according to Victor Odo, and what I thought of those three books since I've read them. And I will also be sharing with you all of the books that I plan on reading in the rest of this year, 2021. So stay tuned. I am a bookworm. <laughs> I am constantly reading books and I'm always reading at work on my breaks at my job and um, people see me as the girl that walks around reading books all the time. So I really just wanted to make this video because I actually, at the beginning of this year, received an email from another YouTuber named Victor Odo because I'm on his email list. And in that email, he kind of recapped 2020 and said that he had three top books from 2020 that he suggested everyone should read. And so I purchased those three books in February of this year, and I just finished the third book today during my break at work. <laughs> so I thought, why not create this new video right now? And I also want to share with you eight other books that I do plan on reading this year in 2021 um, because I just actually received those books that I had purchased in the mail yesterday. So what great synchronicities that came together for me to create this video right here for you guys. So let's just get started. I want to first share with you the top three books, according to Victor Odo, that he read in 2020. And those three books are Personality Isn't Permanent by Benjamin Hardy. He also suggested Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. And the third book that he suggested is the book called Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender by Dr. David Hawkins. Um, so I went ahead and I read all three of these books. I really do like Victor Odo on YouTube. So I thought if he thought that these were three great books to read, then why don't I bring those three great books that he read in 2020 into my life in 2021? And so I did. And I just finished reading the third book, Letting Go. And I want to tell you guys that this was my favorite of Victor's top three books. So let's start with the first one I read, which was Personality Isn't Permanent. Now, I just want to quickly go over it just a little bit because I don't want to like spoil anything for you guys. But anyway, I really enjoyed this book. I love the way it was written. The author has a fun writing style, and I really thought that his personality came through well in the pages of this book. Now, what he talks about in the book, Personality Isn't Permanent, is basically the fact that a lot of humans kind of get stuck in what they consider their personality. Like, oh, I'm a type A personality, so therefore I get a free pass to act that way. <laughs> or, you know, I'm a Libra, so that means I don't have to make decisions. But that's not true. Your personality is not permanent. While you may have certain characteristics that fit you into a specific uh, box, that does not make you who you are. So in this book, he helps you to free yourself from that preconceived notion that your personality is a predestined thing. And he reminds us that we are free to make choices and free to become whoever we want to become. It was a good book. So the second one that I read from Victor's list was Stillness is the Key. This was my least favorite of the three books, but please let me explain because I don't want to turn anyone off from the knowledge in here. So this book is all about, you know, finding stillness in your day-to-day -day life, in your tasks, and within that stillness, being able to find 
you know, your pure potential, basically. But the reason it was my least favorite, it was a little boring to me only because, let me explain again, this is something I would have thought that this book was great if I read it in 2008. Um, but due to just kind of what I've read, where I kind of am in my own personal development and soul growth and everything, it just felt a little elementary to me now. So I almost felt like it was a waste of time for me to read it personally. But I know some of you out there could really, really benefit from this book. And the author also uses a lot of pop culture and examples. So famous people and athletes and things like that. So it kind of keeps you involved by talking about the stillness kind of by bringing you along with things that you've heard of, people that you've heard of and things like that. So Stillness is Key was great, but for me, a little elementary. And, you know, if I would have read it 10 years ago, I totally would have been, it would have been an eye-opening experience at that time in my life. All right. So the third book from Victor's List I read, of course, is Letting Go. And this was my favorite of the three books. I love Dr. David Hawkins. He's always helping us to expand our consciousness. He is constantly talking about the levels of consciousness and how you can always choose the higher levels, the powerful, stronger levels of consciousness. And in Letting Go, we get more of that from Dr. David Hawkins, but delivered in a different way than what we received in his book, Power Versus Force. So just like Power Versus Force, I feel like you're actually raising your, you're legitimately raising your vibration simply by reading this book and taking in the words that he has on these pages. But really, in Letting Go, uh, David Hawkins is helping you to realize that in order for us to let go of those negative feelings that we get coming up from time to time, we must surrender them. But the only way to surrender them is to feel them and to let them, you know, wear themselves out. But obviously, this book goes into much detail about it. And like I said, it goes so deep into the scale of consciousness, even more so than he did in the book Power Versus Force. So Letting Go is highly recommended. All right, you guys. So those are Victor Odo's top three books that he read in 2020. So I decided to read those in 2021. So I'm done with those books now. And I decided to go ahead and order more books from Barnes and Noble. I have already learned so much in 2021 just by reading those three books that Victor Odo suggested to me on that email. And it just reminds me of this quote that I heard years ago. I'm not even sure whose quote it is. Uh, but right when I heard it, it just fit me and it stuck with me ever since. And that quote is, Leaders are readers. I like it because it rhymes and it's short and sweet and to the point. So the reason I like that quote, leaders are readers, is because if you really think about it, anyone who actually can sit with their attention on a single topic for the entire course of a book is probably someone who's a very hot commodity in this day and age. With all of the social media technology out there, we can all barely keep our attention on a video for longer than five minutes, let alone read an entire book. So those of us out there who actually love to read and who find it fascinating to learn new things, we are going to be, we are the leaders, not only the future leaders, but we are the current leaders. We are the ones out there who are willing to open our minds to be receptive to the ideas of others. We're the ones who are using our imagination on a regular basis to keep our minds sharp and constantly refreshing our beliefs and our ideas to make sure that we're still in alignment with what we once believed. So the more that you can read, the better it is for you, in my opinion. And in my life, there have been so many benefits to reading, just like what I've already mentioned, just the opening of your mind, being receptive to the ideas of others. When you read, you are understanding humanity better. And the more that you understand humanity, the more you're actually understanding yourself. It's not right for a woman to read. 
Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. So I just quickly want to share with you all of these books that I purchased that I plan on hopefully reading all of these in the year 2021. And maybe you'll be interested in knowing. So so don't be don't judge me for my my books here. These are not my ideas. I'm simply opening my mind to be receptive to the ideas of others. All right. Okay, so first I purchased and plan on reading Three Books of Occult Philosophy by Henry Cornelius Agrippa. So there's that one. I also purchased The Little Book of Stoicism, Timeless Wisdom to Gain Resilience, Confidence, and Calmness by Jonas Salzburg. Salzburg? Is that how you say it? All right. Another one is Cults, Conspiracies, and Secret Societies. The Straight Scoop on Freemasons, the Illuminati, Skull and Bones, Black Helicopters, the New World Order, and many, many more by Arthur Goldwag. <laughs> this one, I might get some stories that I can use in 2021's Halloween Spooktacular. All right, the next book I have here is called The Serpent Power. This one's by Arthur Avalon. Right, and another one I purchased was Tarot and the Archetypal Journey, The Jungian Path from Darkness to Light. I thought that this one sounded quite interesting. I've never read such a book about tarot before. And as a tarot reader, I thought, why not? All right, and then I also purchased An Esoteric Cosmology by Rudolf Steiner. This one's called Dark Light Consciousness. This is by Edward Bruce Bynum. <laughs> and finally, don't make fun. <laughs> I bought Druid Magic from the Age of Arthur, The Lost Books of Merlin by Douglas Monroe. So I have quite a few different styles of books to read in 2021, so I'm not going to get bored whatsoever. But I'm very excited to just open my mind to all these different ideas and all of these different avenues of knowledge that can possibly one day turn into wisdom. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button. That will help me out so much with my channel. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I am inviting you now to click subscribe down below. And once you've subscribed, you can then click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.